Sharky 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 6 is uh, pot scrubber dishwasher. It is time for the test when Uncle Jay is here. We have the Michael Gegsno version 2.0 watt meter. We've reset the kilowatt hours reading on it. And we have the drain hose in position. And now we're going to get the water hose and hook that up. Accompanying us is the Markel heater. Playing with your hose. Right, up right. your nose with a rubber hose. Well, you know, gotta have rubbers to be safe. Huh? You know, if you want to do that, why don't you run it through the handle in there? Well, that's a good idea. You no, know, that, that would be mighty neighborly. Mighty neighborly. <laughs> <laughs> so we can only do the cold water because... Yeah, the, the, the cabanas are off for the... For the when you air. have a zillion dollar house, you can't have everything still, so... No. Yeah, the, oh yeah, the, 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 that's well supported, I think. Yes, that's good. Now we're going to run the hose over. So now we're going to purge it. So Sharky's turning the water on. Going into the drain here. Because this hose is empty, devoid of all water. It's flowing. It's good. So that's all connected. Get the hose out of the way. And just so it can lay down. Okay. And now we're going to turn the water on. And see. We are pressurized. Plugging it in, and of course, no wattage usage because there's no electronical controls. So what we're going to do, we're just going to do normal and with no heat boost, I guess, or what do you want to do? Uh, yeah, we'll do normal. Let's do normal and can we, or should we do the pot scrubber thing and see how much wattage and then switch it over to normal? Uh, we can try that, I guess. Yeah, we'll let's try no that. options? Okay. Yeah, because yeah, we'll we don't need... Okay. What is the difference between heated dry, oh, it's either heated dry or... Yeah, basically, it's kind of like your, your Whirlpool dishwasher, see? Okay, right. So it's it's yeah. any of those three, but not exactly. more than one. Mm -hmm. So we'll okay. try the cover first, and you'll, we'll close the detergent dispenser. So can, okay. There we go. And uh, I guess we're all set. Yep. Oh wait, hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> oh yeah, almost. <laughs> that would have been a mess. There we go. Alrighty, all right. kick her on. Uh, to, to, to 219 it looks like. Yep, 219 or, two, or 214 actually. That's going down. Okay, but yeah, 214 without without a load. Sounds nice though. Sounds like a GE dishwasher to me. Yeah. And sometimes when there's air here, you may see a little bit of water, but hopefully when the uh, air purges, that'll stop. Has it taken water yet or not yet? No, you'll hear when it takes water. That's what I thought. Yeah. I just give it a moment. It takes a little... Here, a little bit of water in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, that did squirt. Yeah, a little bit, right? Yep. Okay. Let's see the watt meter now. How we doing? Not much yet. It's starting to pump around a little bit. Yep. Little spikes. I wonder if maybe this one doesn't make as much of a cavitation sound because it has the top spray arm. Maybe. So the water has somewhere else to go. You know I what I'm saying? hear it. Yep. Oh yeah, that went way up now. Yep.
Well, that's not bad when it's Throw under load. Throw out your old appliances. They're inefficient. 300 watts. Man. That's not bad. turn on three light bulbs sitting in your living room reading a damn book. And this is inefficient. I know. Then it went down to 308 because the solenoid valve shut off. Look at that. Under load, 308? That is not bad at all. That's a lot lower than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, that's nothing. That's amazing. Seriously. It really is. So we'll let this chooch for a little bit, see what happens. Okay, there we go. So the heating coil is on now, 750. Honestly, I think the I think this is less wattage than the the, the, the modern Gen Air with the coil on. I'm serious. That is not. That is a lot less than I thought it would be with the coil on. That is amazing. Nothing at all to yeah. worry about. Really. Nice. And it sounds good. You just feel the vibration of the machine, nothing yeah. to speak of. Washing away. Uh, yep, we got a couple of drips, as I expected. Not too yeah. bad, though. So it is draining. You can actually see the hose move. Yep, doing its thing. 212 for that. Okay. There we go. 214. So that is one cool thing about this dishwasher on the first drain is that as it, like a couple of seconds after it drains, uh, I'm sorry, after it starts draining, you hear another click. It's the coil turning off. Right. Like I like that process. Yeah. And you can you can see it on the watt meter too. And how it's how it's programmed through the timer to shut the coil off. After it starts draining. Yeah. Just for that little extra chooch in there. <laughs> <laughs> Taking more water on. Yep. And this is interesting because it it uh, it never shuts the motor off. No, for, from start to finish it always runs. Yep. Which, which does make sense because the motor spins in one direction all the time. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it doesn't need to stop. They could stop it, but it why could. bother? Yeah. I mean, did you say it's better for a motor to keep running all the time instead of turning it on and off? Yeah, it is definitely less stress on the motor. Yeah. They knew how to design them back in those days. Well, because I know for the Whirlpool dishwasher, they have to stop because it has to reverse. Yeah. So, yeah. And not, not to mention, you know, it, it just doesn't have that auto start-stop technology bullshit. Yeah, I know, right? Actually, what it is is trickology. Trickology, I like It that. is. Yeah, it's trickology because it's not saving you any gas. How much gas are you burning in the traffic light? A couple of tablespoons? Yeah, probably. It's unbelievable. Well, like, seriously. It's ridiculous. Yeah, there is a little drip right there. I don't know if the light helps or not. I guess it does. So, not bad. Next screen. Uh, I don't see anything. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, there's one there. Yeah, it might be the cold water. Yeah, two. But, but I mean, that's nothing. It's slowing down though. But like, that's nothing that that you said like a Tupperware thing couldn't handle. Right. I mean, it is a used dishwasher, so you know, I have to I have to accept something like that. That's four. Yeah, it could be the cold water doing that because it didn't happen when I did the hot water. Yep, five. Th that was residual. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, because it's done draining now, so... Yeah, that's it. So it, it stopped. Okay. Okay, not bad. Not, not too bad. Taking on more water. Because it knows how to wash dishes. Exactly. It uses fresh water each time. Now, has the detergent dispenser opened yet? No, you'll hear when it opens. It gets to around here when it opens. When it's like horizontal, just about. So it does three rinses before... Yeah, on a normal wash and pot scrubber, it does uh, that before the main wash. Okay. I think, I think it's mostly to just like, you know, loosen up the stuff and to also warm up the water, make sure the line's fully hot. Because yep. you didn't see it, but the first pre-wash, it runs the coil. I guess they make sure everything's hot, and by that point it probably figures the hot water's already purged. Yeah. Because after that it didn't run the coil, so it's exactly. probably why. Yeah. While I'm down here, I figured we'd get a little video. There's the motor running. Rain valve, solenoid, all that. 
Definitely no leaks as it runs, just during the drain. And I remarked earlier off camera that I said it smells like somebody's kitchen. And Sharky said, yeah, it smells vintage. <laughs> it does. You can definitely tell. And it's very simple under here. There's really not much to it. There, it, well, that's honestly because there doesn't have to be much to it at all. Exactly. It's a pressure washer in a box. <laughs> that's all it is. There's a pump to pump the water around in the box, then it drains. The timer turns on the, the water valve and the heating coil. That's all it does. That's all it needs to do. Pure unadulterated washing. So now it's draining again. We did get two drops there. I can't really, I don't know if you can see. I see it. And there we are. That worked well. You know, one thing I am curious about, like how long is the, is the solenoid actually energized for? Because you can tell the drain valve resets when it loses the water pressure because it's drained. So like how long is the solenoid actually on for? I wonder if the watt meter will show that. It should. It's an yeah. electrical draw. We've pulled 0 0.13 kilowatt hours. 0.13 kilowatt hours. <laughs> That's it. And the coil should be on for this. All right, well, we'll let it fill up and find out. Yep. I love how you can kind of see in the latch and just see how it was left, quote unquote, unfinished, as in they could have put like some sort of rubber flap there that would ride on the top and bottom of the arm. But no, just left open because who's looking there? Except for uh, dishwasher twerps. Oops. <laughs> that was the detergent dispenser. <laughs> or Sharky and I dishwasher twerps? I don't know. No, we're just normal people making videos of interesting stuff instead of being fixated on it. And the vent here was open before and has closed. We might look into that and also see why the buttons are sideways-ish. And now we're going to open it during the wash cycle. Oh, yeah, there's some heat in there, definitely. See how much yeah. water? Yeah. See how much water it, it uh, fills up with. Yeah, it covers the whole bottom nicely. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, that works. Let's just see what the how it sounds when you restart it. Oh yeah. What did it pull on to start? Uh, like eight eight hundred. Is the coil on now? It is. Yep, seven fifty two. Because I saw the lights chooch a little bit. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Probably because the warm water. Yeah, we're draining again, okay. and I don't see anything new. That's good. Yep. That indeed is a good thing. Timer's up to the rinse. The motor's just been running solid the whole time. Yeah, just, uh, you shouldn't do this. We want to see how it feels. It is lukewarm on top. That is it. That's yeah. all it is. That's amazing. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's cool in the basement, yes, but yeah. even so. Even so, it wouldn't make damage or difference on the motor. No. Awesome. Oh, it was warm. Now we're going to give it cold water. That feels terrible. Uh, <laughs> The second water, maybe you could hear and hear. The host the host feels interesting. It almost feels like there's air in it. Yeah. That's weird because there's not. It really does. Yeah. That is peculiar.
you'd hear it if there were air. That's really weird. Yeah, well, yeah there's no air though. It sounds strong. Yeah. Very strange. Okay, it has finished the last rinse. It's on the last drain. The coil's still on. I love that. It's draining out the water. It's not going to take any more. It's on the do to do Energy Saver Dry. <laughs> and the coil is on. Yeah. <laughs> because. Just because. Yes, indeed. There it is. Yeah, it's still on. That's cool. So I'm guessing when the motor shuts off, the coil will stop then too, because it's not on heated drying. Right, so and it should stop as soon as it gets to drying, yes? Just, just, just beforehand, just beforehand. Yeah. How long I gotta wait? Yeah, but no, I mean, the, 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 that drain valve did... Uh, the drain valve may have been slow, maybe because the solar line wasn't as strong as the dehumidifier, or the seal is harder because it's cold water. Right. So, yeah. So, it just goes to show you folks, dishwashers, hot water only. Anyone tells you otherwise, tell them to piss off and change it over. Shark bite. Chomp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the dishwasher is stopped. The timer is still running, and you'll never be able to hear it on camera. I could just barely hear it in person. It's pulling no wattage. The timer motor is using less than a watt. Yeah, pretty good, huh? So the the meter can't even uh, display that. But being that it's in the energy saver dry, go ahead and switch that on. Yeah, let's see. Let get over here. 446, 45, yeah. something yeah. like that. It'll probably fluctuate when the when the dehumidifier shuts off. Yeah. Oh, but if you notice, that's power factor of one, so, so that's good. Yes, yeah. where it's supposed to be. But that's and all it pulls for heat to dry. Th that's nothing. 400 watts. Oh, yeah, let's energy saver. What are we saving? What are we saving? Half a penny. How long is the drying cycle? That I'm not sure of. I haven't measured that yet. D rough guess, 15 minutes? Yeah, 10, 15 minutes maybe. Okay, yeah. so we're using half... Let's round it off, make math really easy. Okay. 500 watts. Half a kilowatt mm -hmm. for 20 minutes. Yeah. A third of an hour. How much are we really saving? If a kilowatt hour is 20 cents, we're going to divide it by 3. Mm -hmm. And a third of 20 cents is 6. Like 6.7? 6. 7? 7? Yeah, uh-huh. 6. 6.6. L l l l six point six 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 six. Yeah, repeating six. So l l right. less, th less than, 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 than a dime. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. There's your energy saver. Now, if you're running a load of dishes every day, and let's be very generous and say a dime, that could save 70 cents a week, or seven times four is two dollars and eighty cents a month. So three dollars a month times twelve is thirty six dollars. The energy saver saves you thirty six dollars a year on your electric bill. How much does your Starbucks cost? <laughs> Leave it the fuck on, people. Don't fall into the traps of energy saver. It's a bunch of bullshit.